Hello everybody, this is another slice. Today we're going to figure out what a nonprofit is. So if you go to the National Council on Nonprofits website, they have a section that explains it. When you think of a nonprofit, what do you think of? Most likely, you think of a group making a difference in your community. Maybe you are thinking of a large organization such as Big Brothers Big Sisters or Make a Wish. Or maybe you think about a local animal shelter or community theater. These are groups that are tax exempt under Internal Revenue Code Section 501c3 as public charities because they are formed to provide public benefit. So the general idea with nonprofits is that they're organizations that provide benefit to the public. Now there are some critical perspectives that have a different way of looking at it. I say that nonprofit organizations, in the whole, for the most part, are worthless to my community. Now there are people that do great work, there are nonprofits that do great things, but as a whole, in the majority, are worthless. It's subdiffused. The bottom line is simply this. If we are still having the same social problems year after year after year, then what are nonprofit programs really doing? And with any new nonprofit or any new organization that's built, what are they going to do differently? They are already bound by restraints for the simple fact that they are nonprofit. Simple fact that there are laws that govern them, there are finances that govern them, there is a hierarchy that governs them, a board that governs them, and grants that govern them, philanthropic organizations that govern them, and somebody else's corporate dollars or sponsorship that governs them. So they have to answer to a whole bunch of people. At the end of the day, we have to look at our condition and say, is our condition better, is it worse, or is it the same? So that view by YouTuber Visionary Lion is a very pessimistic view of nonprofits. He's actually saying that they're overall worthless and they're a subterfuge. If you ever get around to reading a book called The Revolution Will Not Be Funded Beyond the Nonprofit Industrial Complex, you'll find that Visionary Lion's perspective on nonprofits is not crazy. There are some really good points to what he's saying, even though he's making some generalizations. But this book and a lot of other books have been critical of what's called the nonprofit industrial complex and philanthropic capitalism and other related kind of do-gooder institutions. And we'll get into those a little bit later. But first, let's listen to a totally different perspective from a tax expert regarding nonprofits. Hi guys, my name is Toby Mathis. I'm one of the founders of Anderson Law Group, and today we're going to be talking about how to use a nonprofit for maximizing uh, everything from tax savings to asset protection. It's kind of weird that we're gonna be talking about using a nonprofit until you understand what it is they actually are. So lots of 501c3s that you know about are like hospitals, things like Harvard, uh, all the major universities are, are actually nonprofits. Now before you go, oh Toby, that's really neat and dandy, but why do I care? Well, because as of 2018, I can write off up to 60% of my adjusted gross income. That's a pretty powerful tool. So if you make a million dollars, you could pen a check to your 501c3 for $600,000. And if it's an organization that's doing something like, again, I'll use an example of uh, low to moderate income housing, I can write off the entire 600,000. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that can't be. It's been done for years. In fact, we have a president that took advantage of something very similar in a conservation easement that netted him to be quite literally on, on just uh, Mar-a-Lago. It was, uh, I think, $6 million plus was the deduction on doing what's called a conservation easement, which is giving it to a, a, an organization that's a, a conservation organization. So now we have three very different views on nonprofits. The first that I covered, which was from the National Council of Nonprofits, simply says that a nonprofit organization is an organization that benefits the public in some way. The second perspective by that YouTuber visionary line is that really pessimistic view that they literally don't really contribute much to the public. Uh, they're worthless and they're distractions and subterfuge. And the third perspective is that nonprofits exist to provide tax savings and asset protection for the wealthy. Before we take a deeper dive into the major criticisms of the nonprofit industrial complex, which is my larger goal with this video, let's take a look at the history of the nonprofit sector itself, because that's going to give us a little more clarity on where it came from. 